Hey everybody, welcome back for day number four of the train collection downsizing pre-York uh, items available. So uh, I wanted to run this set for Gary. Gary purchased the K-Line Caboose, the uh, single aluminum hopper and uh, the GP35 Lionel non-powered unit and then these engines here and you know just doing a quick overview no scratches on the apron all of the lift rings are there and when i say there's a rub mark i mean i'm just really picky like uh let's see if i can even find them in this light they're on the b unit and it's not even picking them up. That's just dust. It's not even those. Not even that. So, I mean, they're only visible in the right light. And, you know, all the diaphragms are perfect. As I said, all the lift rings are there. Maybe that's a little hint of a rub mark right here. And as I said, he knows the smoke units. They run, but they don't blow smoke. Um, Mars light works. Strobe light, whatever. And they're good runners. Directional lighting is correct. Colors change on the marker lights. All right, so that's the first engine that I just wanted to show. Now this is a Lionel Legacy engine. out of the CSX um, container car or whatever you want to call it, well car set. It's Legacy. I had to remember what cab number I had it programmed to. This is up for sale with the entire set. The four container cars are still in the box. It's a giant box and giant set. Everything works. This engine is like brand new. When I opened it out of the box earlier uh, this year, for the first time ever to put it on the track, it didn't run and I had it serviced and um, it's, I've got about 20 minutes of run time on it. It's been fine ever since. There was just some issue with the connections in the board. So everything works on this. And this is on the list for 750 with the four well cars. And it's in the big giant set box. And I would definitely prefer not to have to ship this. I don't even know if I have a box big enough. All right, then next, Wes. I bought this engine specifically for my friend Wes. It's going to be going to York. This is a beautiful Weaver Ohio Central. Thought I'd run it for you to tease you, Wes, since I'm going to see you next week. And I'm sure there's a lot of people from the channel that have never seen this model before. I found this. 
less than bought it, knowing he would want it. All right, we'll let that just keep running. As I make my way back around the table. Then, in here is a very unique set. Um, the last two of these that are sold and just the engine alone, one was on September 23rd on eBay and bid up to 370 and the other one was listed for 400 and something and best offer was accepted. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna stop this locomotive. Shut it down. All right, so I'm gonna shut down all of those before I run this. All right, so this I'm selling as a set. It's on my list. This is the first time it's been on the tracks. It does make like a little jet sound. And this actually existed. There was a jet powered bud car. It didn't have a little add on car. But it does have like the, you know, lighting on the inside. And then the jets light up red at the rear of them. You can see there. Sort of cool. I thought this was really unique looking. I always said if Mad Max, uh, you know, in Road Warrior or any of the other Mad Max movies had a train, it would probably resemble that. So that is the New York Central set. Now, before we go much further, let me go back over to my list here. This was my original list from back in June. Um, oh, I didn't knock, I didn't mark off that. That is sold. Um, this is the set with Husky Stacks. Then, Uh, I know Marcus was asking that I have any Texas special post-war celebration with TMCC left. And I do have the AB set and the separate AB. And I will probably end up only selling one of the two sets and keep the other one. Um, then the EMD demo TMCC with rail sounds. It's like blue colored. There's the model number. The New Haven set, which is sitting right here, brand new in the box. Um, that's all conventional. It's like a A and a, it's either AA or AB and then some cars and a caboose. Um, it's like a remake of an old Lionel set. Then, uh, let's see. The conventional classics, Illinois Central, it's like the brown set. Same thing as sort of like the New Haven, except I do have the extra engine. Um, it's an AB, and then I found the extra A. Then Lionel Legacy Conrail Norfolk Southern Heritage 1209. That's like a blue, white, and black paint scheme. Um, then this is the entire Union Pacific 21 inch Lionel set. Uh, if you look at 2016 Volume 2 catalog, page 76 and 77, it's everything on those two pages. Highly sought after, and Lionel is making a few of the cars again in this new release coming out. Um, so that's, you know, three different model numbers of stuff there. Then, so four car set, two car set, and an add-on car. Or is it a four car? I can't remember. Four car set and two, yeah. Four car set, two car set, and the station sounds. Um, then that's the Southern like uh looks like a post-war aba set with six aluminum silver passenger cars with black roofs uh then the atlantic coastline similar except for there's some purple on the cars and the locomotives are purple tmcc uh this is the new york central um alco pa aba with six aluminum passenger cars then that's the Norfolk Southern F7AB 
SPA set with 13 passenger cars. So everything out of the 2019 volume two, page 52 and 53. I think it comes like 43 or 4,600, somewhere in there. Um, if you add up everything off the pages that I have. And it is everything. So when you open it up, you see the executive train, it's complete. Then that's the custom series. If you go back a few, uh, in some of my videos, you will see I run the blue and the red custom series. They're like GP9s with, uh, each one has three cars with it. Um, like a flat car with a dragster, a flat car with a Ford pickup, and like a coach car. Then post-war celebration series, F3, uh, AA set with four passenger cars. I think that's already sold. I have to mark that off of there. I believe it is. Um, yeah, I need to mark that off of there. Then there's the New York Central Bud Car and add-on passenger car. And I have for both 475, which is a really good deal. Then um, the only thing left on this page is my consolidation uh, H3. It has like, it looks just like this, except it has gold on it instead of just all black. Then um, those two third rails. Santa Fe Flyer Locomotive. New York Central Empire State Express set with seven cars. One of the cars has a scratch on it. And that was that way when I got it. And it's missing one of the little stanchions that go. Like it has the antenna that runs across the roof. And one of the stanchions is missing. Very easy to make out a piece of brass and um, paint it silver. Um... Then the S2, I talked about that the other night. I hadn't looked to see if the one with Legacy is out there still. So like I said, that's a much better deal than what I'm selling mine for since it's 900 with Legacy. And when that one's gone, mine will be a good deal again. Um, then my Class A Vision Line. There's still plenty of those available out there. I don't really expect that one to sell. Um, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, that's cool. I don't have much North Fork and Western anymore. Uh, and that's all that's left on that sheet. And what I'm putting up for sale tonight is my entire Route 66 car collection. Um, I'm going to take offers on this. I don't want to really break it up unless I absolutely had to. It took me a long time to get all these cars. Um, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cars. So you have the sequence of 5, 7, 5, 8. 5, 9, and 60. Then you have the standalone little oh, little uh, four-pack of cars here. Then we have 3,600, or 36,000 and 36,001. Then 17,537, 17,536, 17,548, and 17,549. And go back to my videos and you can see I'm running a blue Commodore Vanderbilt that Hayden actually just bought um, along with all of these cars. And that's the only time these have been out of the box and on the track. I just collected these and, you know, I'm a car guy, so why not? And Route 66 runs right here through Missouri. So, uh, I don't know. On a whim, I just decided to start collecting. Then, um, here's the four... Uh, Black Bonnet, Santa Fe boxcars. I know a few of you are interested, but no one has officially said they want them. Everything else Black Bonnet is sold. I'm debating on selling. This is a 2016 caboose. And if I'm keeping my Williams uh, Black Bonnets, then I'm probably going to keep the caboose. But what's cool about this is it's 2334C. And if you all know, the Black Bonnets are based on the 2333s. Uh, so, um, sort of cool that that is like that. All right. And then, so we still have the CP set left. That's the box for Wes's train. Um, still have the EP5 left. It's my friends. Uh, still have my GP9. 
So this is sold. Thank you very much, Connor. Um, I'm glad we were able to find one for you. I know you said this was the rare one you were looking for. We still have this Woodside passenger car. Uh, Hayden, who bought my um, blue Commodore Vanderbilt, has purchased the uh, my friend's um, Halloween Crusader. The two train masters are still available. One Proto 3 powered, the other one's non-powered. This is still available. My friend's H3 consolidated. His GP30 is still available. And I have a heck of a story on this binder here, but I'm not going to share that tonight. My friend Mark stopped by. Totally surprised me. As I said, um, great guy. And he was giving me the lowdown on K-Line and what happened between K-Line and Lionel. And he made me a whole binder sort of outlining the history behind it and how K-Line was really killing it, uh, coming up with innovative new models while Lionel was still producing toy-like stuff. And um, it's quite a fascinating read. Lots of articles. And I'm going to go through that page by page a little bit and give you a little history there for those of you that aren't familiar. Um, we have the Southern Crescent MPC set. And we still have the 92214 four military army cars with two GMC trucks, tanker trucks on each one. Um, then... Dang, my friend. Um, I need to put this together. This is a two-rail, but it came with all the three-rail components. Um, this is a very cool Pennsylvania 440. And I'm going to put it together and try to run it and see what it does. And um, I don't, that might be coming up for sale. And, you know, Greg, I know you bought this uh, Pennsylvania passenger car set here. Well... He had another Pennsylvania passenger car just like that. And then there's another one. I haven't even opened these up yet. Um, there's another three car set. There's another single wood side. And then this said that it was a F7ABA uh, Norfolk Southern. But when I opened it, it's more wood side passenger cars. So I'm going to have to figure out what's what. These will be coming up in probably my next video this week. Because I have seven or eight of these myself. And I want to make sure there's none of these that I need. Um, then, let's see. These are some new engines I'm picking up. Dang it. As soon as I get rid of something, I buy three more engines. Um, then, here's the boxes for the New York Central Jet Powered car and the non-powered car. So that's where we are on things. And just so that I'm clear, um, Raphael, 21 inch Santa Fe, high level cars. I gotta bring to York. Um, let's see. Uh, four K-Line, or three K-Line tankers, Gary, um, the K-Line Caboose and Car, Greg, the three-car Pennsylvania set, Gary, K-Line F3s, Gary, um, GP35, Ron, Black Bennett, four hopper set, Ron, K-Line flat car, and Eddie, all the Atlas tankers. Um, and then I know I have a bunch of stuff that shipped I've been shipping stuff for people, so I know they should be getting that in the mail because I drop stuff off on Thursday and Friday. And I think we're up to speed for now. And I haven't had a lot of time to do anything except test out my trolley line here. And um, got to stay puffed to go up my Ghostbuster set. So that is the update for tonight. Video number four. All kinds of stuff happening. It has been so busy, so busy. I haven't had time to uh, work on everything. So, hope everyone's having a good weekend. And I will talk to you next time.